Yes. The so why isn't it lib for HTTP? <sighs> okay, I, I can tell you how the name Libre SSL happened. I was sitting in, in, in Hanover and next to my, my coworker, uh, Brad Lambert, and we were just joking. We were joking about why is there open office and Libra office and what's the point about all this Libra thing? And then Brad, his humor is special if you ever met him and I really enjoy working with him. He said, well, we were looking for a name for, for our OpenSSL fork and he said Libra SSL. So I mentioned it in ICB or developer chat and then Bob Beck answered like immediately after, oh, that's great. I registered all the domains. so." <laughs> And then it stuck. So that's why LibreSSL happened. It never happened because we really liked the name that much, but it turned out to be something that people can remember. And I, I think Stormin probably loves the fact that we call it LibreSSL. So. <clears throat> yeah, openhttpd.net, I think, is taken by a weird project that looks like an OpenBSD project. Yeah. And it says, open as in your mom. and I tried to contact the, the, the website re registrar and then the mail bounced and I don't know. So if you, if you can get this domain and donate it to OpenBSD, uh, transfer it to, to Henning who has openhttpd.org, which he actually registered like 10 years ago or so. Um, but so we decided, okay, if you re use a name, there's a discussion in the GitHub issues about the name, actually, which is hilarious. Um, just call it OpenBSD HTTPD. These are two words, but I think it should work. Yeah. Simple names are the best. I'm not a big fan of using, using like fancy names, actually. I have an explicit rule in my company to not use fancy names, like calling it like lizard or whatever. It's, it's, called HTTPD, the name is what it does. That's what we do in OpenBSD as well. I do have a serious question. Uh, there sounds like there's an awful lot of code, either reuse or duplication between RelayD, HTTP, you mentioned the parser line, the, mm. the core parser. How does that all get, uh, how do you prevent that from further fragmenting inside um, that's a good question, actually. So the good thing is in OpenBSD, we have an ecosystem. So we maintain an ecosystem. So it's really, we sync a lot. When we do a change in one, one daemon, we, we sync it to the other one. And parts of the shared features end up in a library, like the iMessage framework is in our libutil for some time now. Um, other parts just get synced, but I think it's a very nice fact that we look at the complete thing. So um, it's not just that's my project and I only care about this one project. If, if Claudio, who did uh, OSPFD and then a few other demons, does a change in his iMessaging or so, then I look at it and sync it to to um, the other horde of demons that I have in, in OpenBSD, or the maintainers, the people who help me um, taking care of these demons. Actually, I'm thinking about going to talk about this in more detail in a future conference about how all these demons are written and maintained in OpenBSD, because it's a like very uh, big topic, actually. Yeah. And, and it basically means, oh, you did this change to, to HTTPD. Why didn't you sync it to RelayD? Or what also happens? So. Yeah. Relady. Relady. 
we, we, it's just one tool for a job. RelayD already does a lot. HTTPD, we want to keep it small. So the, my suggestion is combine RelayD and HTTPD. Um, of course, we're looking into ways to improve this. Um, there are some limitations probably, but really, RelayD has all these features. It does health checks and, and all that. And, in, in the base system, so you don't even need a plus version or something like that. Yeah. Is RelayD very portable? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or, or, or I guess in general, do you intend to make a HTTP, HTTPP, the P version like? Um, RelayD is, or have been ported by FreeBSD folks. It's in the FreeBSD port tree, and I think the Beloved PFSense is using it as well. Uh, so RelayD is already on FreeBSD. So HTTPD should even be easier um, because RelayD does more OpenBSD specific stuff that is commented out in the FreeBSD port, like CARP integration and the routing and all that. And HTTPD shouldn't be a big issue to port it. Um, the problem is for a real portable release, I would need a reliable portable maintainer. Somebody who shows up, stays around, and is excited about doing test builds on 10 different operating systems using whatever is the current state of the art of automake or similar and all that. Um, I tried it once to do this for I think ICT and I failed and that's not my thing. So the good thing is about OpenBSD, we focus on base system and then when we find a portable maintainer, we have the P version. So I'm still, yeah, if anyone wants to volunteer, but uh, see, um, you would volunteer, but it would stick. Yeah. So. <laughs> Anything else? No, it should be fine. It should just work. It's not a big thing. Okay. So, one more thing. Um, when, when we imported HTTPD, to my surprise, people started using it very quickly, actually. And for some insane things already. And the adoption is so fast, um, that surprised me really. But okay, that's, that's a good thing. And as always, with all the software that we write in OpenBSD and that I write, I'm really interested in some testimonials. Tell me your stories, where are you using our stuff? And that's something, that's the contribution that I enjoy actually, yeah? Uh, I enjoyed Ray's talk about like Relay D, VXLAN and all that. And so let me know if you're using it and then maybe um, we, we can talk about issues and fix stuff. But it's really also about the giving back is also about sharing what you're doing. Uh, if you have something really secret, you don't have to tell me where, but I, I, uh, that's a currency we like. Okay. That's it, thank you.